Hey everyone, Rob J here. Welcome back to the Nova, and welcome to an indie game highlight of the trailer for Vulture Strike. Now, Vulture Strike is a side scrolling shooting game in which you have the ability to travel between two parallel timelines whenever you want. The game has been developed by a small independent team in South America. Now, I'm showing you the trailer today because when I was looking at the images on NDDB as well as Steam Greenlight, uh, the game has bullet crazy levels, and I'm talking about bullets coming from everywhere which way imaginable. Like, the game looks incredibly challenging. And the game kind of reminds me a little bit of Lightning Force for Sega Genesis, so that was really cool to see. <laughs> I'm just super excited to see this game, and what really intrigues me is the parallel timelines. Like, I'm wondering how the two parallel timelines work, like, but I guess we're going to see in the trailer. So without further ado, let's check out the trailer. Let's check it out. All right, cool. Nice simple art style. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Nice. Oh, here it is. Here it is. What? See, it's going to get crazy. Yep. That parallel time, I think. Oh, oh my. Come on. Come on. Come on. How do you... <laughs> How do you get past that? Okay, so he, I think he chopped. What? 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 Okay, color combinations. Do you not see the color combinations? That's when he chopped. Yeah, okay. Color combinations means he's traveling between timelines. That's so cool. Crazy. Frenzy mode. Wow, wow. Man, that timeline thing adds. Okay, no, no way. No way. I could not. Wow, wow. I could not beat this level at all. I wouldn't. I love level designs. Like, the backgrounds look so good. There's so much to watch on screen, I'd be like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and the music is really good too. I love the music. But yeah, th this, this is just nuts. This is just nuts. Hmm, are there any power-ups though? I'm looking for power-ups in this trailer. I, I love the rock. I love the rock. It it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, okay. So the color combinations indicate when you should be traveling between the timelines. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I did this for no reason. <laughs> Look at the bosses, like, yeah, yeah, like, the level designs look amazing. I love it. They're so simple, yet so good. Yeah. All right. I'm already hooked. This game looks amazing. <laughs> I just love the parallel timelines. Like, that's the first thing I was so curious about when I saw the trailer, for, or, like, when I saw the images, sorry, not the trailer. I, this is the first time I ever watched the trailer. <laughs> was, like, how do the parallel timelines work? And we just saw it. So, uh you know, a blue, or I guess it was a blue indication of when you should travel uh, back and forth between the parallel timelines to avoid, you know, I guess, impassable, um, like, obstacles. So, yeah, that's a really interesting mechanic towards the game, and I think that's going to make the game super challenging and super fun. Um, I'm hoping, though, like, for another thing I noticed, like, the level design looks amazing, is that the UI looks kind of bland. You know, I'm hoping the UI gets a little bit more jazzed up, you know, before it gets like fully released. I know this game has a couple of demos to try out, so I'll put those links in the description below. But um, I couldn't get over the music. I really hope the music is, you know, rock and roll like that. Like, I love the whole like, like, you know, like, gets you really pumped to play, you know, like a shoot up game like this. So, but like, I couldn't get over the parallel timelines and like how crazy the bullets got in some of those levels that we saw. So, and just again, like, I'm sorry, I keep repeating myself, but like the mechanic of a whole entire time between the two parallel timelines, like, like that's insane. Like, I wonder if there's going to be any kind of like cool indication of like when it happens, right? Like, you know, like if there's going to be an announcement, like parallel timeline, activate, or like the screen goes like, you know, blue. And then the regular screen is just, you know, you know, the, the regular screen without any kind of like, you know, filter over it. I'm really hoping there's some kind of indication of like when you're going back and forth between um, the uh, parallel timelines. Because like when we saw it, it was just the, you know, oh, blue, there, there, there's a blue obstacle that I can probably go back towards the parallel timeline, but that, that makes any sense. So <laughs> I just hope there's some kind of ind indication for it. So like, I, I will like, there is an indication for it. I'm just hoping there's, it's a little bit more, you know, eye catching and visually, you know, like eccentric towards it. So yeah, that's my, <laughs> like, that's my two cents on the uh, the parallel timeline switcheroo. So it's gotta be a little bit more uh, obvious of when you're going back and forth. Cause I'm wondering like, so if I were to go, you know, towards a different timeline, uh, is the screen gonna change? Like, you know, like you don't like we see the option of oh, it's blue, so let's do the parallel timeline to get to avoid danger. But like, I'm hoping there's a little bit more, you know, visual flair to it. And um, again, the UI needs a little bit more, you know, it needs to look a little more fleshed out, a little more jazzy, you know, eye catching and everything. But like, some positives are like the music, the level design, um, and the mechanic itself is just brilliant. 
Like I love the whole entire traveling between parallel timelines to avoid danger. Like that's it's so simple. It looks it looks like it's so well done. So well well done. Well done, Walter Strike Team. Well done. <laughs> it looks awesome. I can't wait to play. Like there were some levels in there that I was just like, how are you ever gonna beat that? Like like there's some bullet level like there's some bullet crazy levels I've uh, played and past indie games where I'm just like, I kind of understand the pattern and everything. So like, that's exactly what this is. You're gonna understand patterns and just kind of like tr uh, quickly have like, you know, good reflexes. So <laughs> this is gonna be the game that helps you develop those quick re reflexes. So <laughs> I can't wait. But anyways, guys, uh, so, so for some further information is that this game is on Steam Greenlight. So if you like the game, go on Steam Greenlight and vote yes. So if you put on Steam, I will be putting the link in the, in the description below. So. Everything that uh, I talk about today, like the demos and Steam Green Light, they're all gonna be the links will all be in the description below. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. I'm Rob J. Thank you for entering the Nova. And until next time, keep supporting indie games.